What is the most expensive software that you have ever come across? $2,000? $5,000? What if we told you there's software out there that costs as much as 1.2 million? And even more surprisingly, there are free alternatives that work just as well. In this video, we're going to talk about some of the most expensive software in the world and their free alternatives. Let's get started. Firstly, you will be surprised to know that the price of CryEngine is almost $1.2 million. But here's an app you might want to consider as a free alternative called Unreal Engine. While CryEngine is undeniably strong, it's out of reach for many developers due to its cost. That's where Unreal Engine steps in as a great free alternative. Whether you're in game development, film production, or creating 3D environments, Unreal Engine offers the same high-quality tools and flexibility without the overwhelming price tag. Here's an app we've picked up that may be helpful if you're considering Unreal Engine as an alternative to CryEngine, which costs almost $1.2 million. Unreal Engine stands out as a fantastic choice because it's not only free, but also incredibly flexible for developing games and 3D environments. If you're someone working in game development, architecture visualization, or even film production, this could be the tool for you. Imagine you're developing an independent developer game or working in the film industry. Unreal Engine's flexibility really shows its strength here. With Unreal, you can easily create photorealistic visuals, and its advanced tools are helpful whether you're a beginner or an experienced developer. The interface is smooth and approachable, which means you won't feel overwhelmed when you start creating. Plus, since it's widely used across industries, there's a large community for support, which makes it easier to find tutorials or forums for troubleshooting. The best part is, Unreal Engine offers many of the same features CryEngine does, but without the hefty price tag. So, whether you're working solo or as part of a small team, you get access to a platform that's large enough for big budget games, but accessible for indie developers. The free licensing makes Unreal even more attractive, especially for smaller companies or independent creators. If you're in the cybersecurity field, you might have heard of Core Impact Pro, a premium penetration testing tool that comes with a hefty price tag of around $50,000. But there's a viable alternative that won't cost you a dime, the Metasploit framework. Unlike Core Impact Pro, Metasploit is open source, which means it's constantly updated by a global community of security professionals. This makes it not only reliable, but also one of the most useful tools for finding and exploiting vulnerabilities. For cybersecurity professionals, whether you're working in a small IT department or handling enterprise-level security, Metasploit allows you to test your defenses without the high cost of Core Impact Pro. Supposing that you're tasked with identifying vulnerabilities in a company's network, Metasploit provides you with a wide range of tools to simulate attacks and find weaknesses before attackers do. It's especially useful for training as you can create different attack scenarios and practice defensive strategies. The interface, while a bit more technical, is designed for flexibility, which allows users to exploit known vulnerabilities and gain a deeper understanding of network security. And because it's open source, it's backed by a huge community of cybersecurity experts who frequently contribute modules, making it even more versatile. Now, Renderware costs almost $250,000. It's a tool known for handling 3D graphics, but costing a considerable amount. As an alternative, MakeHuman offers a completely free solution that excels in quickly generating realistic human characters. It's ideal for game development, animation, or even VR, where the ability to create customizable human models is crucial. With MakeHuman, you can easily adjust everything from body proportions to facial features, and all without the high costs associated with renderware. When you're working on a project, Time and resources are limited. Make Human simplifies the character creation process by providing an easy-to-use interface that lets you customize human characters down to their most minute details, from height and weight to facial features and clothing. This tool is especially handy if you're working in smaller teams or indie studios where you need quick results without sacrificing quality. It's particularly useful in industries like game development or VR where having a solid, customizable base for human characters is essential. While Renderware was widely known for handling such tasks in professional settings, MakeHuman offers a completely free solution 
that still gives you a lot of control over the character creation process. For those of you in 3D modeling or animation, MakeHuman is a great tool for quickly generating detailed human models without the hefty licensing fees of renderware. For those of you venturing into 3D animation, modeling, or even video editing, Autodesk Maya is a name you've likely come across, though it comes with a high price tag of $11,000. As a fantastic free alternative, Blender offers professional-grade tools that rival Maya, which makes it an ideal choice for both beginners and experienced creators. Whether you're working in animation, game development, or even film, Blender has been steadily gaining popularity in these industries due to its robust features and zero cost. If you're working in 3D animation, whether it's character rigging, modeling, or animation for games, Blender is a tool that will help you create stunning results without the steep price tag of Maya. For example, if you're running a small animation studio or even working as a freelance animator, Blender provides nearly everything Maya does, but at no cost. Its open source nature also means you can customize the tool to fit your workflow, something Maya doesn't offer quite as flexibly. You can use Blender for more than just animation. It's also great for visual effects, video editing, and game asset creation. This makes it a multi-purpose tool for creative professionals. The interface, while a bit tricky at first, becomes second nature after a while. And the community around Blender is large, which means you'll find plenty of tutorials and add-ons to help with your specific needs. Finally, in the design or engineering field, AutoCAD can set you back around with its price tag of $9,500. However, FreeCAD offers an excellent alternative for those looking to cut down on software expenses without sacrificing functionality. FreeCAD is particularly well-suited for 3D modeling and engineering and architectural projects, which offers many of the same features that AutoCAD does, but without the steep cost. Whether you're designing machinery parts or architectural blueprints, FreeCAD provides the precision you need, along with the flexibility of open source customization. One of the best uses for FreeCAD is 3D modeling for various engineering and architectural projects. If you're working on designs for anything from machinery parts to architectural plans, FreeCAD's features will allow you to create precise models that you can manipulate in multiple views. This is especially helpful for those working in industrial design, Another advantage is that FreeCAD has a much smaller learning curve compared to AutoCAD, especially if you're new to computer-aided design software. This makes it a great entry point for students or professionals switching from costly software like AutoCAD. With a strong community and plenty of online resources, FreeCAD also offers an active user base where you can seek advice or share tips. So those are our takes on the most expensive software in the world and their free alternatives, each with its unique benefits and features. We hope this video gives you a good idea of the possibilities and helps you make the right choice for your needs. Let us know if you have any further questions or would like to share your thoughts in the comments below.